and we will also um, start integrating Oasis by building our uh, first entity that will use Oasis um, that will provide uh, liquidity to the Oasis interface by offering to uh, sell and buy crypto using atomic swaps. Exactly, so all features that are required to, to run Oasis are implemented and the next step will be to, to set up a, a staging system that actually resembles a production system at, as closely as possible and with that staging system we can actually then you know, start testing the real thing under realistic conditions. Um, but there will also be some more work required on the bank side to support all the uh, requirements that we have or that Oasis uh, brings um, but we hope that those will be provided very soon and in the meantime we can also use other banks in the background to use as a clearing bank to test Oasis with. So this is the implementation right now. Only covers an H is, is only an HDLC, uh, but that will you know be the the initial feature set of Oasis. But we're already thinking about other features that we can integrate, other mechanisms that we can bring from the blockchain space to the to the fiat world. You know, the question is what in what scenario does it really make sense? So typically, if you like trade in-game items uh, within a game and to exchange it, exchange it for just an in-game currency, you would already do atomic swaps because it's centralized, right? Okay, so if we want to introduce OAS or if we want to use OASIS in order to, um, you know, swap um, a digital asset like some in-game item or whatever, um, you know, that in-game item would need to be um, escrowed by the party that actually controls this item. So typically, I guess, you know, the, the studio that runs the game or the developers of the game. Um, but if they are open to e allowing exchange of this particular item or this in-game item against something that is not within their game, then this would, would make sense. So basically, if you want to enable and, you know, atomic swaps between this, this in-game item and Bitcoin, then you know, this, this, could, this, this would make sense. I think we can, we can also support uh, USD with uh, 1031, together with 1031. Um, once we have a, con a connection to or access to the SWIFT network. Um, but for the remittance uh, idea, I mean, it, it would make more sense to have a, another bank in another country that you know, manages a different uh, set of currencies. That would be, be very interesting for the remittance, uh, remittance side of things. Yeah, so I mean, Oasis in this in this scenario would provide like an open infrastructure that um, that parties can build upon that are interested in providing these uh, foreign exchange uh, services and that provide you know quotes and liquidity for um, for foreign exchange and that just build upon the existing Oasis infrastructure and by leveraging Oasis, then can they can make themselves sort of uh, uh, trustless so if you use that provider they are the way that they set up this remittance will be transparent and can be audited by the user basically right so there's less trust involved in this setting it's it's more distributed among the the parties that are involved in the swap uh, you know, it involves for example the two banks that um, run the OSS contract. Mm. 
So Oasis is, is really just a building block, right? It's just the, just for now, just the HTLC for, for Fiat or for Euro in the specific first instance. Um, so it's, it's not a fully integrated exchange service, uh, but just a tool in order to enable decentralized exchange between crypto and fiat. Um, so it still needs someone to, to build upon it and to integrate it into their DEXs or into OTC desks. Uh, and we will also um, start integrating Oasis by building our uh, the first entity that will use Oasis um, that will provide uh, liquidity to the Oasis interface by offering to uh, sell and buy crypto using atomic swaps. Um, yeah, that's actually, that's basically it. Okay, so I guess there, there are two main directions where Oasis are interesting. One is basically the users of Oasis. Um, any decentralized application that wants to do uh, atomic swaps with Fiat uh, can build on the OSS interface, like you know, decentralized exchanges or maybe also OTC desks. Um, and it is designed in a way that it can actually run in software that runs on a, cli on a client's computer, right? So it's, it's not a server-to-server uh, API that requires some sort of API key or some authentication, but it can, you know, you can call it from a user's browser basically. Um, so that's basically the, the, the user side of things, but Oasis uh, can also be interesting for, for financial service providers, but banks in particular that want to offer the Oasis interface um, in diff different countries, different jurisdictions, different currencies. Um, in order to basically to create a, um, well, like a pool of Oasis-enabled banks that um, users and uh, application developers can choose from which provider you know, fits their needs best and uh, enjoys their trust. Okay, so if you're, in, uh, if you're a developer that is building decentralized exchange applications that build on, on atomic swaps, or maybe um, work for a bank, are a bank uh, that might that is, that wants to um, bridge the gap between the crypto and the fiat space. Then uh, feel free to contact us and uh, ask us questions about Oasis. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and leave any questions in the comments below. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.